everyone, welcome to the Photos by Orion blog. My name's Corinne. And I'm Catherine. And today we're gonna to talk about business headshots. So one of the biggest questions that people have about business headshots is why you necessarily need one. Uh, so can you go into a little bit about that? Sure. Um, professional headshots are typically used for uh, showing who you are and letting your clients remember who you are when they've met you and you hand them your business card. Uh, most people do put them on a business card or they have them on their email signature because people remember faces better than they remember names. So handing a business card that just has your name on it is fine, but handing them one that has your picture on it, they'll go, oh yeah, that was that person I met at that party once. I wanted to talk to them. <laughs> So usually you put your face um, on all of your marketing and advertising so that people can associate you with what you do uh, so that they remember you when they need what it is that you give. Hmm. I obviously need to use mine more places. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what kind of things should people consider when they're wanting to do their headshot? Like what, what makes a good business headshot? A good business headshot shows what you truly look like for obvious reasons, now that we've talked Boo. about why. <laughs> so no putting your head on Brad Pitt's body or something, that's just not right. Um, but a good business headshot shows people what you look like now so they associate when they meet you in person, um, gives someone that sense of what it is that you are projecting. Um, so if you want to be known as the professional, your headshot should say that. It should be very professional and should give off that air of, I know what I'm doing, that's why you wanna work with me. Um, if you are exuberant and vibrant and that kind of personifies what you do, then your photo should say that. If you work with animals and, uh, and that's kind of your business, you should probably have an animal in it because then people associate you and animals. So your business portrait, uh, uh, if it's good, if it's showing people what it is you want them to remember about you and what it is you do, what it, the reason that you have this business portrait. Um, another part of that is, uh, what should you wear in your business headshot? That's a big one. Oh yeah, a lot of people ask yeah. me that question. I get that a lot. Um, so. <laughs> Realistically, you should think ahead of time about what it is you want your business portrait to say, because as I said, what makes a good business portrait is that it says what you want to say to people about yourself. So if you want to be professional, definitely dress up in that professional gear. You're going to want like a blazer or a jacket or something like that. Um, I've had plenty of clients come in in three-piece suits and because it's a headshot, they'll do three-piece suit on the top and be comfortable on the bottom and then change out as soon as we're done. Like a news anchor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, it, you know, so dress for what it is that you want to say. If you are incredibly casual and you want to be known as the local friendly bartender or the local friendly real estate agent or the crazy photographer who <laughs> is uh, very exuberant and bouncy all over the place, your photo should say that. And so dress appropriately. You know, I dress in my uniform to come do these things, but in my portrait, I'm just wearing one of my everyday outfits because that's what people would normally see me in. And I definitely want to be known as a people-y type person, someone who is going to be a friend, someone who is gonna make the experience fun. And so I dress appropriately for that. Okay, I know you mentioned um, going outdoors. So that's, you know, obviously natural sunlight is really, really nice, especially on, you know, a gorgeous day. Um, but what kind of background should people choose? So whether it's in the studio or maybe outside, um, what kind of things should they be considering? Um, well, first and foremost is, again, what do you want your photo to say? So um, if you want to be a little more casual, going outdoors is certainly a great option um, because having those kind of um, woodsy or treesy or leafy backgrounds are definitely more casual than a straight up studio photo. Um, if you decide to be in studio, then you want to choose a backdrop that goes along with your branding um, or with what you're going to do with it. So um, I ask my clients this all the time, well, what are you going to do with your photo? Are you just sticking it on your business card? Well, then what are the colors on your business card? What are the mm -hmm. colors of your company? Let's do something that kind of goes along with that and is going to look good when you put it into the card. Um, I have lots of clients who come in and tell me, I'm just putting it in my email signature uh, and then up on the website. And we go look at their website together and it's 
white background with black writing and then it's got you know pictures and stuff that make it you know give it that little color pop and all that but it's mm -hmm. that standard black on white um, so I tell them you can do black because it kind of goes with the color scheme and it makes your picture stand out because it's going to give you a border of where your picture is or you can do white and then it's going to look like you are just you on a white background. It's gonna blend into those very stark whites that are used online, and it's gonna make it look like you've got a cutout of yourself as opposed to, oh, this is a picture. So um, usually when they tell me, I'm just putting it on a white uh, card, and I'm just putting it up on the website, and it's that white background, I say, let's try going with white. Um, we can always get another color too if you're worried that that's not gonna be what you want, but having that white really makes you stand out, not your picture. Typically, I tell people definitely stay with a neutral, so not something too patterny if you don't want to go for that more laid back look um, and do, it's usually black, white, or gray. Hmm. Good to know, lots of options, lots of decisions to make there. Uh, thanks for watching today. If you do have any more questions about business headshots or uh, want to schedule yours, you can reach out at photosbyorion.com. Uh, email is contact at photosbyorion.com. Uh, also on Facebook, Instagram, and the good old telephone. And that phone number is again? 503-385-1435. Thanks for watching.